Today we're going to be looking at the Van Morrison Classic Wild Night. We're going to look at the signature intro lick, the chord progression, some lead guitar fills, and the solo. So let's go ahead and get started with that intro. One of the reasons I wanted to feature this song is because we've been talking so much about the movable chord shapes. That intro lick is the same chord played three different places on the fretboard. Okay, it's an E minor chord. The song is in E minor. And remember your relative, that is the relative minor to G major. So G is going to be featured in here as our C and D. Which again, you can play in many different places. The signature intro lick is an E minor chord played in three places. Your standard first position E minor, take your movable A minor shape from that first position, bring it up to the seventh fret, that's where it's an E minor. The root on the fifth and third strings. You really just play the top four strings. And then you come down to the third position and play your movable E shape of the G chord. Again, top four strings only. And remember that the relative minor is E minor. You put your pinky down there on the second string fifth fret. And again, we've talked in other lessons. That's the way that you change a G major to a G6. And a G6 is an E minor because the relative minor is the sixth in the major scale. So basically you're going E minor, D minor, G E minor, G E minor, G E minor, G E minor. Now you'll see some people on YouTube here and some tabs, they want to play it as a G to a C. No. Okay, or it's really just that one note that's different. It's going from the D to the E on the second string. Okay. So that's the intro. So the first verse is played over that intro E minor lick. And if you're just strumming it in the first position, you could go to G. E minor to G, and then it resolves with a E minor, C, D, G. Those are the four chords of the whole song. Okay, then it goes into a couple of little uh, different progressions which have some nice fills. I'm going to attempt to play along with them and then break it down for you, starting at about 35 seconds. And you're So that was very rough, but here's the idea. You start with a uh, E minor to a C. Everything looks so complete. Walk down the street. Those are the same fills that I showed you in the Hendrixy lesson. And it's that movable A shape 
and I showed you how when you have that movable A shape, you bring it up in this case to a C chord at the third fret. You've got all these. getting set to do the fill which is I played it with my fingers but you can you can flat pick it as well and that's another completely standard riff that you'll hear a bazillion times and uses it in the opposite direction in brown eyed girl When he's hitting on the D chord, he goes up to the D, the 12th, uh, excuse me, at the 10th fret, right, that's part of your movable E or F shape, bring it up to the 10th fret, you've got a D chord, you're playing only the 3rd and 1st strings, slide down 2 to a C chord, and then at the 7th fret it becomes both uh, notes at the seventh fret, which would be part of a movable D shape of a G chord, right? Which you could also see as a movable part of the F version of the D chord. So D, C, G, F, if you want to think of it as, as chords. But you can go up, or you can go down. They call these sliding sixths. I talked about them uh, going way back to the very first lesson. The uh, my lesson on the George Harrison solo, "She's a Woman." So everyone uses these, okay? It's a standard fill. So he does that over the D chord because it starts on a D. All right? And then it just goes to the... E minor C, D, E minor. And over the E minor, which I was just kind of barring because I'm only playing the first couple of strings there, or the D, uh, the four, five, and third strings. As he slides up, does the E minor riff over the E minor pentatonic up there at the 12th fret. And I might not have that one exactly right, but basically it's starting with an E there, seventh fret, fifth string. You're getting the idea, I hope. Okay, next we're going to move into uh, the solo. All right, there's one little lead fill that happens at about 240 heading into the solo. It sounds like this. Right here. And I wanted to show you that one lick because it's cool. It's in the E minor pentatonic at the 12th position. And it goes like this. Third string, 14th fret with your ring finger. Bend that up while anchoring your pinky at the 15th fret on the B string. Release. I'm just going back and forth between 
12th fret, 3rd string, 14th fret, 4th string. He doesn't hit them together like that, but that's the way it's often played. I've shown you this pedal steel bend before in other lessons. This time again we're just playing the 3rd string, then grabbing the 2nd string. Another lesson we had looked at that in was Give me three steps. And and what I'm trying to show you here is, you know, it's all related. You would you know, someone asks you what does Van Morrison's Wild Night have to do with Gimme Three St Steps by Leonard Skinner, and you'd be hard pressed to answer. But the answer is that they have that same guitar lick in it. Okay? And you locate it there in the first position minor pentatonic of E minor. And you can also play it there on the first and second strings. Again, you've got a G chord or an E minor. Same thing here, you've got a G chord to a E minor, and that's, that's why that lick is located there, because we're talking about E minor, G major. is the same as... Okay. All right, let's look at the solo. I'm gonna, it's a saxophone solo, but I'm going to play along with it to kind of show you why it is what it is and to um, show you one gu little guitar lick that comes right at the end. Okay, it's a sax solo, obviously, but it's in that same... Same scale where we just pulled that little guitar lick, and they're, you know, they're related, right? So, uh, that E minor slash G major pentatonic there, at the seventh position, the, the sax kind of goes... Or you could go. It's a very pretty little solo. It's just using the, the E minor pentatonic scale. And the second time around, it's the only note outside of the E minor pentatonic scale. It is an F sharp there at the 7th fret, 2nd string. The key of G major, that would be our major 7th. And then the sax slides or goes up to a B note and just kind of holds that. Right at the end of the solo, the electric guitar goes... He just kind of plays that same riff, the Give Me Three Steps riff, and just chokes it. Just, just, it's hard to do slowly. It's a cool little punctuation mark that uh, the solo ends on. So there you have it. There's a variety, a wide variety of licks from the Van Morrison song Wild Night. Uh, the camera uh, bailed on me in the middle of this lesson, so I'm recording the second half, or this last little bit anyway, on an iPod Touch. We'll see how that, that pans out. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this, and thank you again for joining me. I will see you next time.